This is The Swimming Show. February is the month where it is all happening. Valentine's Day saw a new dawn with our president stepping down and a new face to lead the country. We had a sterling state of the nation address and everyone seems much more optimistic. Hi, and a very good morning. I am Tikele Dilitsio. Jwale Mosebeti o Moholo wa Kala Moteng ma atlete arona ay tukisetan jwalo di Commonwealth Games and our national competitions ahead. Let's make use of hashtag The Swimming Show. We want your views and opinions. How about you? We love it. We are going to celebrate the whole YouTube The Swimming Show. So we're going to live in language and we're going to The Swimming Show. The Swimming Show. Commonwealth Aquatic Trials comes your way from Kings Park in Devon. More qualifying action. And we also feature the diving Commonwealth Trials. Kajenur Shebalibilo, Lama Fuma Hadila 3 meter. And then 10 kilometer action from the Fountain Open Water Championships. Tena Litsedi, Honamona with the swimming show. The swimming show. Harikale Tena Toshle Kawete La Joalo Mane, Kings Park, Devon. Tears of joy and tears of disappointment as the swimmers aim to get onto the Commonwealth squad. Nka kholo ba ke nsaka e ungaratang hoe arulela na luluna ke libelo la 400 meter individual medley for men. Eight grueling laps of 50 meters each. We will take a look at the highlights after this very even start. The swimmers start with the butterfly leg. They will be doing 100 meters of each stroke. You can expect the lead to change as the swimmers should excel in their favorite stroke. In the green cap in the center of the pool is 24-year-old Eton Sweeney from Seagulls in KZN. We move ahead to the 100-meter mark and can now clearly see his lead. Luen Khroblaya lane 5 of Fetoha Mohol is a Mohol and also a Kuro Devonville in lane Devon Hage in lane 3. Backstroke now. Champion swimming clubs Neil Fair has made some gain from lane 3 in this lane. It looks like this race is going to be for the silver and bronze medals. For leader Aiton Sweeney, it is now a race against the clock. Into the breaststroke leg, Fair just ahead of Luan Krobler. Sweeney at the far end 10, followed by Krobler. A bit of breaststroke, but we bring our leader home in the freestyle now. The placings did not change. The first two swimmers are well under qualifying time, and the crowds edge them on. An extra kick and Etten Sweeney surges towards the finish. Four minutes, 16.53 seconds, well under the required time. <laughs> Luen Krobla also gets in under the time, but it is Sweeney that cannot contain his excitement. Just see what it means to these swimmers. Neil Fair touches into third place for Tuahu Lane 3. Two Commonwealth qualifiers from the 400 meter individual medley for men. Rebuisane Libum Pudi Barona Ham Fela Habatwaka Ruby. Yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled. I mean, doing that time now, it's not only the Commonwealth time, but it's an Olympic time, Olympic A cut. So, and like, I really want to give Commonwealth a go because I think if I can get down to a 413, 414, win the medals there, I think so. That'll be great. I, of course I went to the Junior Youth Commonwealth and Junior Olympics, but just to qualify for something I mean, so big, I mean, Senior Commonwealth, that is just amazing. I mean, I can't, I'm struggling to believe it right now. <laughs> it's amazing for me. A hearty congrats, Aiton Sweeney and Luen Krobler. We look forward to seeing you swim in Australia.
Kamarapapazo. We go diving. Uskebe wa suu. The Swimming Show. to Commonwealth Diving Trials. This event also took place at King's Park. This time, it's the Medistwe Puriakante. Three of our divers managed to qualify. Good news indeed for diving South Africa. Um, the meet is about the girls being given an opportunity to trial for Commonwealth Games. It's the first time that we've had criteria sent out by SASPOC. And these young ladies have traveled all the way from the States to compete. And they've done particularly well. We've known about the qualification for about two months only. Um, so as soon as I found out, I, it was number one on my brain. Uh, just um, so we we all at school and university in America. Um, yeah, and, and just training there with our coaches. And we had some some university meets, but those were kind of like in the back of my mind, and this was on the front of my mind. So yeah, um, that obviously makes me incredibly happy. Um, it's we've never really had a chance to go to Commonwealth Games, so this is a good opportunity if they send a team. This is the three meter springboard final. Olivia van Follenhoven, back one and a half somersaults, two and a half twists, optional position 2.8. Outward in Tatso, say Hutua Huba, Sudi Baru, Nabateva Fanaka, so now we are Kadi diving of Fapana. Six and a half, six and a half, six and a half, six, six and a half, five. From Western Province, Jenna Douglas, forward one and a half somersaults, two twists, optional position 2.5. The figure mentioned after the dive is announced is the degree of difficulty. The divers vary this difficulty factor throughout seven, their various eight, dives. Seven and a half, seven, eight. Eight. From Central Gauteng, Julia Vincent, for two and a half somersaults, one twist. Pike position three. Oh! Julia is our defending champion that did duty at the World Champs in Budapest last year. Seven and a half, seven and a half, six and a half, eight, eight, six and a half, seven. From Central Gauteng, Bailey Hadra, back one and a half somersaults, two and a half twists. Optional position 2.8. 2.8, the difficulty factor. Harukyo Hoswa, Hoba Sudibarona. Six and a half, six, six. Six and a half, six, six. And a half, six. From Central Gauteng, Nicole Gillis. Forward three and a half, some salts tap. 2.8. Nicole Gillis and Michaela Bauta won the three meter synchronized event earlier in the competition. Seven and a half, seven. From Central Gauteng, Michaela Bauta, forward two and a half somersaults, one twist, high position three. Seven, seven, seven. Seven and a half, seven and a half, seven. seven Good scores for Michaela. Julia Vincent up next. Julia. Forward three and a half somersaults, pike 3.1. Eight, six and a half, six and a half, seven, 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 six and a half. From Central Cutting Aquatics, Nicole Gillis, back two and a half somersaults, pike three. Nicole is the synchronized diving partner of Michaela Bauta. Let's see what she does with this dive. Six, six and a half, five and a half. Seven, seven, six and a half, five and a half. The final dive from the current leader. And our final dive in the final from Central Gauteng Aquatics, Michaela Bauta. Back two and a half somersaults, Pike three. 
lots of concentration from Mikaela. This is a crucial dive for her. She has done enough. A good win for Mikaela Bauta. Julia Vincent follows and Nicole Gillis gets into the third place. This has to be a personal best for Mikaela Bauta from Jester's Diving Club. I actually got my personal best score, um, so very, very happy. Um, of course, there's always stuff to improve on, but I'm very happy with my performance. Um, the meet I wasn't very happy with, but um, I was struggling to get moving and to get going um, throughout the day. But um, you know, whatever happens on the day is what happens, and um, I'm happy that I was able to fight back and keep going until the end. I'm very relieved and happy about it. Uh, it means my hard work has paid off, uh, and all the preparation leading up to it was uh, well worth it. We get to dive against uh, most of the top nations besides China, and they usually take the gold, so it leaves a little bit of. Uh, of middle places open. Yes, time to shine, girls. Hara laten di metal it's out a rona. As well as the rekan canali China, mukatelumu latela. Well done to diving and swimming South Africa. This is the swimming show. The Benoni Sailing Club at the Homestead Dam was based for the Houtem Open Water Championships, once again made possible by the Houtem Provincial Government. The two-day event had rain and sunshine over the racing days. Mutopisi Billy Foster tell us more. The Houtem Open Water Challenge is set up by the, three, the four districts, which is Northern, uh, Tiger, Northern Tigers, East Nifating Aquatics, Johannesburg Metropole, the old CGA, and City Bank. And the four districts got together and we're under the auspices of Aquatics Gauteng to be able to host the Open Water Challenge. Yes, Gauteng Open Water Challenge is also, it's been formed so that all provinces, all four districts have a championship, all combined into the one, which is the Aquatics Gauteng Open Water Champs that we've got now. And yes, it, it is the last chance for swimmers to be able to make the qualifying times to be able to go swim at Open Water Nationals. The SA Open Water Champs takes place in Eastern Cape during March. Well, we, our entries for this year has, has more than tripled to last year. Um, last year's 10K, we had five swimmers of, none of them were actually provincial swimmers. This year we had 10 swimmers in the water, of which nine of them were provincial swimmers. Our 5K for this afternoon, uh, we have 45 swimmers that's entered, that's pre-entries. So if the weather holds, we might even hit the 60 mark. Tomorrow for the 3K, we have reached the 100 mark. So in general, the, the overall amount of swimmers that we've got is genuine, it's triple what we had last year. The 10 kilometer event is the Olympic standard and what this distance swimmers would like to qualify for. We spoke to the 26-year-old Northern Tiger swimmer that went on to win this event. Uh, my name is Abdul Malik Relu. Uh, I swim for Champion Swimming Club. Uh, my coach is Wendy Abutain. My main goal is just to get um, a 2, 10, 2 hours 10 or under. Um, today I didn't get that. So I'm still happy about the swim. My first half was was a decent uh, time. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't uh, hold that uh, carry on all that pace, um, but I'm still, I'm still happy with my swim. My mindset uh, was to get to the 5k first and then feed, and then from the first four, and then this is next to try and get uh, some quicker time. Uh, but unfortunately, like um, I was, I, I was a bit tired. But uh, then I tried to just try and finish the race as decent as possible. I'm swimming for Boxburg Quarry Saints and I've done this a good 10k swim. First one I've then, uh, done and look, it's far, distance is hectic, I have to admit. I've never had some, well, have such uh, conditions and stuff look, as well, but really it was, uh, the distance was just scary. So. Our original plan was actually going out, getting to a comfortable room for the first four laps and then from there pick up pace and see what I can get on to use energy efficiently. So I use longer strokes and stuff like that, but yeah, at the end of the day, I actually 
uh, got in good rhythm for the first four laps and then from there I just went and then went as the energy took me. So yeah. Came into the 10k for the first time. I just wanted to swim to see how I do and I did a 218 so it's a reasonable time. So then I can just work for the nationals to get a two hours flat hopefully. They were very good, very good. Just towards the end, the last two laps, it was getting a bit windy and a bit of waves, so yeah, it was good. Um, it was mostly just make it to the end. I just wanted to finish the 10k. Um, my coach actually wanted me to do it, so yeah. Well, everyone said it was like at 7.5, that's when it gets really tiring, and it actually did. It was pretty rough then. The water was actually pretty nice, so that was good. And there weren't a lot of waves, so it was nice conditions for a 10k. <laughs> The heavy clouds had lifted, making condition great for feather racing. Uh, my name is Brett Manning. Um, I drove down from Durban to come swim the 10k. I'm 18 and uh, conditions were perfect for a 10k. Nice flat water, no wind, uh, just a lot of laps, eight laps. Those last two and a half k's, it kills. Um, to begin the 10k I wanted it really just get into a good rhythm. Uh, the first two and a half k's I was just going comfortable, then when you hit five you start picking it up a bit and that last two and a half k's just survive. Only two competitors in the women's 10 km event. Samantha Rendell took the honours and Sita Penn visiting from Western Province got second place. More Gauteng open water action. Na kon ye tlang le na nyong le na la the swimming show. The swimming show. Petela tsatsi la rona le neng le tletse hape ka ntlhagolo ho hlaphulunya ya rona ya 50 meter. Let's go over to Kings Park in Deben. No, we, we had nowhere to go uh, with the uh, Commonwealth being early, uh, first week of April, so obviously it's a no-brainer that we have to come here to do the trials and um, yeah, it's been great for the youngsters, they can see all the top swimmers in action and uh, hopefully one day they'll be competing at, the, at the, our very own Commonwealth trials for them to make the team. Chatlet Lawyer, now we talk a fella the Commonwealth medal to become the most successful athlete ever. You know, I'm just going to take it one at a time. I'm swimming the three butterflies, 50, 100, 200, uh, the 200 freestyle, 100 freestyle, but I'm not sure if I can swim the 100 free because it comes just before the 200 fly final. Sorry, my love. Um, <laughs> I wish I would change that, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. And obviously the relays, if we can have them on here, I'd really, really hope that we can have the relays. That's really important to me. One of the highlights of the event was the 100 meter breaststroke event for men. Cameroon van der Berg is the man to beat from lane 4. Mehu lane 3 is Jared Pike. And in lane 5, Western Cape sensation Michael Hooley. Cameroon's explosive start puts him in front right away. A handsome lead by van der Berg into the turn. Michael Hooley's next best. Cameroon is looking strong and confident. The 29-year-old will not be challenged for first. He glides into the finish, 59.89, well under the qualifying criteria. Hooley is second, and yes, he gets a qualifying time as well. Great news indeed. Two good swims and two more names for the Commonwealth team. 21-year-old Brandon Crawford takes the third place. Yeah, pretty happy. Um, two qualifiers for the for the 100 breast. Um, it's always a nice feeling. Obviously, at least some of the juniors are coming through. I uh, only have a couple years left, so it will be nice to take uh, 
like you under the wing and show them the ropes a little bit? Um, I was mainly focusing on the 50, 100 and 200, which was all the breaststroke events. And I could only qualify in the 100 and the 200. The 200, which I swam yesterday, didn't go that well. But I tried to bounce back with that today. Finals, so, um, heats were okay, but the finals, I managed to qualify. So I'm happy. Michael has plenty of respect for Cameroon. Yeah, he, he's always been amazing. He's a legend. And he, he's done a lot for me. So in that race, I was just thankful to be next to him, trying to catch up with him, <laughs> keep up with him, and it was good. Well done, Michael Wooley. Libilole Latelang Kilaba Fumahadi Lama Kaula Kang 100 meter backstroke. This is Mariela Fenter, 17 years of age and a top contender from Waterborne Swim Club in Central Kauti. Kiena Tatoha Siaura Kaha Palibilo and her biggest threat will be from tag swimmer Natania van Niekerk in lane 5. These top swimmers are in the yellow lanes. Full lane 3, the Terrejalo Kiara notes from Matis in the Western Cape. Not much in it going into the 50 meter 10. The three in frame are all on Commonwealth pace, but can they maintain it in the final lap? Just getting into the picture, the Botswana entry, Naume Ruele, is swimming well. Fenter will take this race with Van Niekerk second. Yes. Fenter wins with a qualifying time and Nathaniel van Niekerk misses out with five one hundredths of a second. So unlucky. Wele from Botswana gets the third place. Uh, so I swam 102.55, uh, which is 0.2 under the qualifying time. Um, and I'm extremely happy to have swum um, a qualifying time for Commonwealth Games. Um, well, uh, I was at Youth Commonwealth Games um, previously this year in the Bahamas and uh, it was truly one of my best tours um, so um, I'm extremely driven um, to go and swim at a senior Commonwealth um, with an amazing team. I mean all the big names are going to be there and uh, it'd be, it'd be so, such a great experience going with um, such a strong team and um, hopefully being part of such a strong, strong team. And, um, going to swim some good times in um, Australia, hopefully next year. Very well done, Mariela Fenter. More Commonwealth action next time on The Swimming Show. Etela Jolo le Kepela Runa la Facebook and share your thoughts and opinions. Ebale Mutrebelo Omu Nade. And remember, Sunblock will protect you. Isebedi Isi. Stay water safe. The swimming show. The swimming show.